my mitt. Catch me if you can. <clears throat> Don't move, mate. I'll get help. Afraid, Ty. I am Nandu Gili, the Bunyip Elder. G'day, mate. It's time you knew the truth. Years ago, a great battle was fought over the fate of five mystic talismans. Brave few who challenged Boss Cass were trapped in the dreaming. Mom? Dad? Word grows that Boss Cass is seeking out the talismans again. He must be stopped at all costs. It's up to you to find the talismans before he does. It's up to me to save my family. Oi, Ty! Are you okay? Murray? Oh, am I glad to see you. Oh, you're never gonna believe what just happened. I was playing in the forest when the ground suddenly... That's when you showed up. Woo! Sounds like you've got a fair deacon adventure ahead of you, mate. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. I'd much rather be at home watching the footy. But I tell you what, you do the adventuring and I'll help you out where I can. Welcome to Rainbow Cliffs, mate. By the way, whenever you see one of these signs, I won't be far away. I've heard that if you press the action button, you can talk to me, whatever that means. Okay, now let's get down to brass tacks. If you're going to be out adventuring, then you'll need another boomerang. And I know just the place to find one. <laughs> Head down to Bly Bly Station. I'll meet you there. G'day, Julius. Now, if I just reroute these wires to... I said g'day, mate. I is deaf. Oh, goodness gracious me. Oh, I didn't see you there. I was just making some last-minute adjustments. Well, 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 you must be Ty. G'day. 
So, you old coot, <laughs> what's this contraption do? <laughs> this contraption is the key to finding the talismans. Why is this so? It's quite simple, really. It uses an oscillatory microfeeder to scan for trace energy signals that match the unique power matrix of the talismans. Huh? Like a big nose that sniffs them out. Oh. Ah. And thunder eggs are the key to powering the machine. Thunder eggs? Oh, they're as rare as hen's teeth, mate. Couldn't you just use batteries? <sighs> if only it was that easy. You see, this machine doesn't just find where the talismans are, it actually teleports them here. Struck me lucky. And that, my friends, requires a great deal of energy. So, uh, how is Ty here gonna find all these thunder eggs? Eh, hey, I was just wondering that myself. A reasonable question. I've created these portals to lead Ty to areas rich with them. Of course, they won't just be lying all over the place. Just our luck. A lot of them will have already been found. The trick will be convincing the locals to part with their prized possessions. But I'm afraid I can't help you with that. If you're as resourceful as they say, Ty, I'm sure you'll think of something. Righto, Ty. There's no point in mucking about. You've got to find a second boomerang. I'll see you in two up. This billabong has got the lot. Gum trees, wallabies, and even a koala. <laughs> There's plenty to do here, so let's get a move on. Listen, mate, I solved your problem. I found you a second boomerang. That's great. Where is it? See that tree over there? Yeah. Well, it's not there. Right. Well, where is it? It's on top of Frill Neck Peak. Oh, great. Oh, don't worry. You'll just have to jump, run, rang, and bite your way there while avoiding Boss Cass's henchmen. Look, mate, life wasn't meant to be easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One down, 71 to go. <laughs> Come on, let's get a move on. <laughs> I reckon those dunnies are a complete waste of space. <laughs> Only last week I used one, walked two blocks, was clobbered by a frill, and then woke up back on the dunny. Which was the best place to be, given the surprise I got. Julius reckons it's got something to do with the space-time conundrum. But if you ask me, I think it's a load of bull dust. So, you're saying that if I have an accident, I'll end up back at one of these? Something like that. You've got a fair set of choppers on you. I reckon you could put them to good use by pressing the bite button. <laughs> Get it? It's choppers. Bite button. <laughs> Never mind, Ty. Move on. Have a go at those crates.
I was speaking to a bloke down the local watering hole, and he reckons you can use your rangs to take care of enemies and smash things. You ripper! He said something now, wait a minute, he said something about pressing the throw button to use them. Not more cages. Struth! What happened here? Boss Cass did this. He's caged all your bilby mates and hidden them across the land. Oh, yeah? Well, big mistake. No one messes with my mates. Now, there's a thunder egg in each area if you free them. No worries. Unless you're Boss Cass. I don't know if it's true, but I heard about this bloke who found 300 opals, then took them to Julius's opal machine. Anyway, something weird happened, and he ended up with a thunder egg. <laughs> Righto. When I was a lad, there was this kid, Toothy Malone, I think his name was there, who could bite his way through a dozen pies in less than a minute. These aren't pies, mate, but I reckon you could chomp the lot by pressing the bite button quickly. Try biting them quickly to reach that thunder egg.
Yes, yes. This just might do. G'day, Julius. Oh, hello, Ty. You, you know this golden cog? Just... Can't swim. Julius told me to tell you this, but I am. Oh yeah, that's where it is. Well, I wouldn't have believed it if I didn't see it. That's a fucked up looking crocodile, mate. Like today wasn't a complete waste of time. <laughs> you seem to have learned a thing or two. Oh, yeah, you're too right. 
Ah, you know, there's one other thing I could show you, but uh, I don't know if you're ready for it yet. Yeah? Well, what's that? Well, a mate of mine who knows a mate who knows a mate who knows another mate says you can use two boomerangs to glide long distances. How? It's simple, really. You jump, then press and hold jump again to start gliding. You ripper! Ah, look at that. Me mate's mate, mate, mate was telling the truth after all. <laughs> Just as well I didn't call for an ambulance. <laughs> well, lad, you made it through with flying colours. And as a little extra bonus, a stopwatch will appear near the start. OK. What's that for? The racetrack. You can race the clock to win another thunder egg. Right. I'll give that a go later. <laughs> well, that's enough gas bagging from me. Let's head back to the Bly Bly station. <laughs> See these funny look... See these funny looking mushrooms? A bloke down at the local watering hole reckons that if you stand in the middle of them, something weird will happen. Welcome to the track. Race to the finish as fast as you can, mate. The checkpoints will lead the way. But miss one and the race is over. <laughs> Good luck. was a ripper of a race, Ty. You're faster than a long-legged emu with a case of the bellyaches. <laughs> case of the bellyaches. I reckon you've earned this. Oh, you beauty! It. Let me see that. At last, a mystic talisman. It's time to move out. We got four more talismans to find. You there, fetch my bags. <laughs> Soon, unimaginable power will be mine. 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 Welcome to the Great Barrier Reef, full of beautiful fish, friendly natives, and inviting sandy beaches. It's a beautiful spot for a swim, if you know how.
Nope, I have no idea how to swim. To see you again. Kid, hey Rex, you saved anyone today? Funny you should say that. Elle went for a bit of a swim out near Danger Spike. Danger Spike? Where's that, Rex? It's a nice little spot, not too far from Shark Reef. Yeah, and? Well, anyway, she's an excellent swimmer, but she hasn't come home yet. I'm starting to get a bit worried. Struth? I'm on lifeguard duty, so could you have a look for me? Well, I would, mate, but I, I can't swim. Tell you what, I'll teach you. Follow me. When you're in water, press the bite button to dive. Then tap the jump button to start swimming. OK. Wish me luck. By the way, those boomerangs of yours won't work underwater. But i got a prezzy for you that'll fix that. These are aquarangs. I found them in an old shipwreck years ago. They cut through water like a hot knife through butter. If you can dive under the water and grab them, well, then they're all yours. one. The aquarangs work like regular boomerangs, but you can only use them underwater. Oh, and one other thing. You're not a fish, mate, so keep an eye on your air supply. Yeah, thanks, Rex. Use the aquarang to hit this switch. It'll open the shark door so you can be on your way. Sweet. <laughs> swim and use those aquarangs. With a bit of practice, you'll be a champion swimmer just like me. Dear beauty. This is my good mate. She'll show you the way to danger, Spike. Good luck, mate. Hey, Ty. You can swim faster by tapping the jump button to gain speed. <laughs> Let's go find Elle. Thank <laughs> you. 